Uh, and let me thank our, our witness for, for your work. Uh, the infrastructure bill is a once in a lifetime opportunity for this country. So your role is critically important to make sure we do it right. We were very uh, clear that environmental justice is one of our goals in regards to how we rebuild our infrastructure in America. I was proud that included in this bill was the removal of lead from our water pipe systems that we have uh, reconnecting communities that have been divided by uh, highways that were destructive to the, the residential communities. And the list goes on and on. We have resiliency into this, et cetera. My own state of Maryland has a Maryland environmental justice screening tool. Uh, you have the White House climate and environmental uh, screening uh, tool that's available. Uh, let me ask you how you intend to implement the use of these tools with the opportunities that we have uh, with the infrastructure bill to make sure that we are sensitive to the community's needs, uh, that we recognize that the communities that have been hit the hardest as a result of climate change have been low income communities, the communities that have been hit the hardest in regards to our efforts to to build uh, 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 interstate uh, roads have been our low income communities. How do you intend to use this opportunity to make sure that in fact we carry out our commitment for environmental justice? Uh, thank you, Senator, I appreciate that uh, question uh, because I, the, the work that CEQ is doing has environmental justice kind of squarely at the center of our priority. Um, and what the president has directed in the early executive orders, uh, including the specific direction that we do a screening tool, is that we use the tool to help de how, decide how we prioritize the allocation of resources and benefits uh, um, to communities to make sure that the folks who have been underserved in the, the past, whose, whose communities have been underinvested in, um, are uh, among those that receive the benefits of the federal investment. Um, and that is, the, that is the goal of the tool. The tool is a, it's a mapping tool. It allows us to prioritize um, areas where um, the programs have, uh, that, that show that communities have high uh, air pollution, that show that the communities have li high impacts to um, to climate uh, uh, impacts that show that there is a high health um, uh, burdens. And these are the things that are built into deciding how we, um, how we uh, focus on uh, the, the communities who need the, the most help. Um, and our, so our, our idea is that once the tool is uh, finalized, that this will be a resource that the agencies look to as they're trying to make decisions that uh, relate to um, their funding. Well, I, I hope, uh, I, I'm very supportive of that. I just hope you'll keep us engaged at every stage. This is uh, a, a relatively new opportunity that we have, and we wanna make sure that we actually take advantage of it. So I would appreciate you keeping our committee informed as to how this tool is in fact working in practice uh, in dealing with these issues. I wanna ask you one additional question on America, the beautiful initiative by the administration, and what role you'll play in regards to working with uh, the private sector to expand the lands that are protected uh, through conservation under the America, the beautiful initiative. Oh, do, will your office play a role in this? Uh, absolutely, this is one of our uh, central uh, activities. I, I, in fact, chair um, a, a committee working with uh, Secretary Holland, Secretary Vilsack, uh, and Secretary Raimundo were um, managing the America the Beautiful initiative across the government. And uh, the, the key about the America the Beautiful initiative is that it is the first time the president has set a conservation goal, our goal here being um, to, uh, to conserve 30% uh, of the lands and waters um, by 2030. Um, and our, our focus is on making sure that we elevate and lift up the great work that's going on across the country where people uh, in each community, has they have identified like what are the important measures of conservation in their communities uh, and create programs that uh, really help to provide support for, for those efforts. 
Um, last week, in fact, I was in Florida and had the opportunity to see how uh, activities are going on the ground where the public and private sector are working together uh, on some conservation efforts that really reflected exactly what we want America the Beautiful to look like when it is uh, put in place. Um, so with the grant program that I announced last week, which was uh, $82 million that is going to be run through our um, request for a proposal that uh, brings together funding from several different agencies, is, um, is a, an available resource that uh, uh, communities in the public and private sector can use. Well, thank you very much and uh, look forward to the results of your work. Thank you, Madam Chair. Senator Cardin, thanks. Uh, 